Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Friday. Uh, we've all used audible altimeters at some point um, during skydiving and we're all, you know, used to the alarms and beeps and, and chimes for each one out there. Uh, a few years back, um, a company called Freefall Data Systems came up with something way different. And today we are going to take a look at the third generation Sono Alti V3. There you go. Okay, so we got the new Sonoil TV3 available and ready to ship. I'll leave a link in the description where you can find it and order yours today. So uh, I'm gonna flip the camera so you can see how to configure your altimeter once you get it. Um, this, uh, compared to other uh, free fall data systems, audibles or altimeters, you have to conf you don't pair it with your phone. Uh, you have to uh, plug it into your computer and go to the free fall data systems website uh, and configure it. Uh, they have a, a web app there that you can configure it with. So uh, let's flip the camera and show you how it's done. Okay, so uh, what, what I wanna do, I'll um, to connect the unit, I'll open my browser, then I'll press the USB button until you hear the chime, then you connect the unit to your computer and it should show Freefall Data Systems Altimeter Detected. Then you go to the Freefall Data Systems website, click on the Sono Alti 3V. You go all the way down the bottom and you can select the Web USB app. And then it will show all the settings since I already set it up. This is all the settings I, uh, I programmed on the altimeter. And then um, all the, the uh, the, the warnings and all that. And if you want to disconnect it, just click the disconnect button and you're good to go. You'll see that you have the Freefall Data Systems altimeter is detected. Then you go to Freefall Data Systems. Once you see the uh, Freefall Data Systems icon here uh, or, or tab that has uh, been detected, then you go to the website and just go to the Sono LT 3D scroll all the way down and you will click on web usb app here you'll see that it's already connected if it wasn't for the need for if you get a brand new altimeter you have to click uh the connect button which is this one right here right now since i already been playing with it uh, it shows it's already paired with the computer so uh it will show disconnect if i want to disconnect it so here are your main settings um the, for you including your pre-jump and all that uh, how you want to, to uh, what information you wanted to, to, to say to you uh, if you want to use a metric uh, system or not and then you get your three presets you get your first preset second preset and third preset you have three presets on the uh, on the unit so here you can configure um, your landing if you have an offset landing or or takeoff you can set that here uh, and then the ascent settings. Uh, if you want the unit to give you warnings during ascent or climb up to altitude, uh, you can set that here. And then you can uh, do the announcement in 100, 200, 300, uh, up to 5,000 feet increments. Uh, the um, altitude range from you know 1,000 feet up to whatever. And here you can control the volume. Here, let's say if you press eight. It will change the volume and you'll hear it. I have the unit right next to me, so that's why you're hearing it. So every time I change the volume setting, you will hear it in a different tone, volume. And believe me, these this thing is really loud. So um, I don't hear very well and I can actually definitely can hear it. And here you can select whatever um, the uh, setting you want for it. So here for seat belts at a thousand feet, you can select that and then insert notification and we'll insert it right here. If I take, I want to take this off, I'll just click the X and it will take it off. So in this case, um, I'm going to set it. So I want to set the seat belts. So I click here. Seat belts. 
and then at what altitude I want it to give me that notification. So I'm going to put a thousand feet and then insert notification. You'll see that here it already has your notification there. So then you move on to the free fall settings. Um, you can uh, have the free fall threshold uh, indicating miles per hour uh, and then whatever speed you want it to be like your like your top speed. Um, I just put 150 just to see what happens. Um, hopefully I can try this over the weekend and see how it performs. And then again, here you have um, how often you want the announcements to be presented to you or how often you want to hear them in, in uh, 100, 200, 500 and so on increments um, in feet. Uh, and also the range of your regular announcements from your, let's say what altitude to what altitude and then the volume again here you can set your volume and that will give you uh the uh, the, um, the example of that volume setting uh also you can set your uh pull altitude your um uh, let's say separation and all that in this case i'm going to put a tandem pull altitude and what altitude i want it here i already set it to 5500 uh, and then you're approaching your hard deck, which is 2,000 feet for me. Um, and you know, you can set this however you want, depending on what type of dive. That's what I have. You have different settings. So if you have one setting for tandem, another tandem, uh, another setting for, let's say, uh, another preset for AFF, and another free preset for uh, whatever flying discipline modality, or you know, if you're free flying, if you're belly flying, formation flying, you can have another one for that one as well. So here you have your three presets, and you can set. Um, your um, altimeter as uh, as you need and then after you are done you can just you know disconnect and your altitude your um your altimeter your audible is good to go every time you need to do a, a, a change something a, a setting or anything you have to plug it in in that same order you open the browser then you press the USB button on the altimeter until you hear the beep and then you connect the altimeter. Then you go to Freefall Data Systems. You should have then this notification here up here of that the actual uh, altimeter is detected by your computer and you're good to go. You start making your changes and then at the end just disconnect. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.